Hello, tech friends, and thank you for tuning in to Emerging Technologies in Business, where we take a deep dive into different technologies that are impacting businesses today and in the very near future. I'm your host, Brock Reiney, and this podcast is brought to you by Kincannon XR. Let's talk tech. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another episode of Emerging Technologies in Business. Today, I wanted to talk about homomorphic encryption, or for short, you might hear me referring to it as he. Um, And before we get into homomorphic encryption, let's discuss the public key encryption scheme of today. In most of the internet, uh, most of the internet world anyway, you agree to share your information such as your email, your name, date of birth, and so on, which acts as a way to access your private information. Think of it like closing your front door. Once it's closed, and anyone can really close it, but then you're the only one who can get inside because you have the key to that door. Now, for homomorphic encryption, Think kind of like a glove box that's already inside of your car, where you'd be able to reach in and touch anything inside of the box, manipulate anything inside of the box, but you wouldn't be able to remove anything from that box unless you held the key to it, much like the key to your front door. So using he provides users the ability to access, manipulate, and create inside of homomorphic encryption, but can't remove anything from the interactive data. So simply, Homophobic encryption is a method of encryption that allows any data to remain encrypted while it's being processed and manipulated. So this enables the ability such as yourself or a cloud provider to apply functions on encrypted data without needing to reveal the values of that data. But what sets HE apart from typical encryptions is that homomorphic encryption uses an algebraic system to allow yourself and others to perform computations and operations on the encrypted data while it remains encrypted. So this means that the encrypted data can be manipulated and analyzed as though it's plain text or in the plain text format without being decrypted. This provides the ability to compute and process the encrypted data to get an encrypted answer, but only you can decrypt with the ciphertext and understand what it means since you're the one that has the key. Other part, there are really two different types of homomorphic encryption. There is the first one being fully homomorphic encryption, also uh, referred to as FHE. Uh, Sometimes you'll hear that short. And then there's another version that is somewhat homomorphic encryption, which is abbreviated typically to SHE, now, or SHE. FHE, the fully version, is the type of homomorphic, uh, homomorphic encryption that allows for arbitrary computation on encrypted data to be done without needing to decrypt it first meaning that with FHE, you can perform any operation on encrypted data that could be performed unencrypted data, making FHE well-suited for tasks that require complex processing like machine learning and data mining. Uh, SHE or SHE is or somewhat homomorphic encryption, meanwhile, is the type of homomorphic encryption that allows for a limited computation on encrypted data without needing to decrypt it first, of course. If uh, in she schemes though, there's usually a limit on the number of operations that can be performed on the encrypted data. So along with the types of operations that can be performed as well. So there's typically a limitation on how many and what can be done. And to give you an example, in some of the she schemes, it may only allow addition and multiplication, while others may allow subtraction and division. And she schemes are typically and generally much faster and more efficient than FHE schemes, just due to the limited computation and operations that are able to be performed. But how is that going to help today's business? Well, One of the most apparent benefits is an increase in enhancement of security by allowing sensitive data to be processed and analyzed without exposing it to threats, which could reduce risks of data breaches and other cyber threats. Um, He also provides improved efficiencies and performance. Uh, It's a reduction of costs as homomorphic encryption can help reduce the need for manual data processing and provide more flexibility in the way sensitive data is used in shared as well. Homomorphic encryption is expected to play an increasingly important role in data security. And as the tech world continues to grow and evolve the uh, adaptation rate, we're going to continue to see more widespread in a variety of tasks and applications in which homomorphic encryption is utilized. 
And with its potential to enhance security, privacy, and efficiency, homomorphic encryption is expected to revolutionize the way businesses and organizations protect their sensitive data. So that's it. That's all for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something new about homomorphic encryption today. And if you did like this content or like any of our other content, leave us a like, uh, send us a comment down below, but most importantly, go subscribe to our channel. I do want to thank King Canon XR for sponsoring this podcast. You can find us on social media at ETIB podcast or at King Canon XR. I've been your host, Brock Reining. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Emerging Technologies and Business. And we'll talk some more emerging tech next time.